tone was hilarious. This oh. is great. Thank you. That's the best. Both of your characters help Ali like become who she wanted to be at towards the end of the film. Mm. How was it working with Traji? You want? Well, I'll say, yeah, I'll say one thing first is that I don't think that the main character in this film needed anybody, and especially not a man, to help her get to where she was going. I think she was a strong, yeah. capable, incredibly talented yeah. person yeah. to begin with, and she learns to accept herself mm -hmm. uh, by going on this journey. But uh, Taraji uh, needs to learn nothing from anybody because she is <laughs> everything. I mean, she is everything. Uh, she, go. Yeah, she's awesome. She's really fantastic. Uh, you know, in situations like this, it can be a little, um, you can be a little bit concerned wondering how, you know, she, she is the movie, you know. Yeah. It's like, all right, well, going into this, how is the rapport going to be and all that. But she comes in so lovely. She has so much great energy that she gives off to everybody. And she, you know, comes up in the makeup trailer in the morning, just ready, just happy, you know, getting the day started, getting the energy pumped up. And she treats her people with respect. So, you know, she leads by example, and it's just a joy to work with somebody like that. Yeah. Now, with all laughs, there's also a very strong message as far as like equality and uh, you know, uh, women making it in a mainly male-dominated uh, environment. Right. What other what other messages do you guys want uh, viewers to take away from this when they watch it? Uh, I think for me, this is a movie that is also really really great for men. Yeah. for a male audience, yeah. right? And something that I think the young male audience can come away from with, uh, come away with it uh, from is, is uh, to learn how to acknowledge, respect, and appreciate a woman in a position of power without feeling uh, less than yeah. a man, you know, mm -hmm. without feeling emasculated. So I think that's a really awesome a trait. And then, you know, as far as the women go, hey, you all you need to get where you need to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just rock what and who you are unapologetically. Mm -hmm. You guys had a lot of fun. It, it seems like the, the blooper reel is going to be... Oh, it's going to be insane. Yeah, it's going to be so crazy. <laughs> yeah. um, if you guys were to, you know, uh, have the power to read, you know, read people's minds, who do you think's mind would be the most outrageous, the most entertaining to be, to be reading their mind? Well... Out of the cast members, I guess. Oh, out of the cast yeah. members? Yeah. I would say... Tracy, but he seems no, he to just sort of tell mind. you. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you have to, like, no, you wouldn't yeah. have to read it, you just sort of have to sit there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is a toss up between Erica Badu and Pete Davidson. Oh my yeah. gosh, they, they, they were hilarious. I yeah, I, I really want to see what's going on in Pete's head because <laughs> it's a special case right there. I feel like we need a spin off for this film. You gotta do it. <laughs> Please, yeah. put that out there. Yeah. Just, just drop those exactly. nuggets. Yeah. yeah, we need a spin off. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much for your time.